All right, so these cables are looking a lot better than the factory ones. Definitely good quality with the veteran miner. Um, so what we're gonna do is pop these three screws out here and uh, pop this top off and then we'll unscrew the positive and unscrew the negative and uh, pop these new ones on. So I'll set up the camera and pop that off. All right, we're gonna take our new wires and put the positive on top, which will be white, and negative on the bottom, which will be black. And uh, I'm just gonna put these on how the other ones came off, which was uh, these, this lip here, or this angle was, was downwards like that. So I'll just put them on how the factory ones were. All right, there we go, got all the wires on, pretty easy. Just the six little screws to pop the top off, the four bolts here, make sure everything's hooked up, positive and negative is all correct. And now I can have a uh, CK box two on one side and my KD box uh, running off of this. So I'll go set all that up. All right guys, so I got this all set up on my little mini rack here and uh, I did test them out. I was having some internet issues, but I have a 16 port switch coming for my mining room. So once I get that, we'll move the eight port switch up here. And then I have as many options as I want for computers just to heat this room. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with these, uh, the veteran miner cables. Uh, they look really good. They are easy to install. Um, if you guys want to see how I installed the uh, Noctua fan here, uh, you can check out my other video. Um, in my next video, I'll go over my how much I made uh, on my CKB miner. Uh, I'm just solo mining with it, and for a day now, uh, it hasn't hit a block yet, um, but we'll see by the time I make the next video. And uh, I'm also mining CKB on my graphics cards right now, so I'll go over how I'm doing that. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.